Okay, Scott, I'm going to be cooking you some soft shell turtle today. There might be certain parts of the country where this ain't legal, but it's legal in Texas and Louisiana. And I'm going to show you a way that I come up with to speed up the cooking process. Now, what I got in here is some onions, there's some red bell peppers, and I've chopped up some red and green jalapenos. You can see why people say that this turtle tastes like chicken. You see it got dark meat and it's got white meat in it too. Now what I did was I took it and I cooked it in that pressure cooker so that it, it sped everything up instead of braising it all in that pot and taking all day to cook it. Another reason I did that so that I could take them bones out of that meat. Because you see, you see that, that? Them turtle bones, that's some different looking bones. Okay, let me get this up to heat, and I'll uh, show you how we finish this dish off. Okay, Scott, I had cooked those peppers down and the onions with some butter. And the reason that that stuff was all jelly like that is because we cooked the collagen out of them bones and off that skin. So I added this Roma tomato in there. I had about a quarter of a big onion and you just play it by ear with them vegetables. If you want celery in there you can put celery. Now I'm going to put these shrimp in there. Some people put sausage in with it. I think it kind of overpowers that delicate flavor of that turtle. I'm going to put them shrimps in there and the shrimp you don't want to go and overcook those things. Put this heat back up a little bit. Another thing that I did to go and cheat this thing and speed it along because normally this is an all day process. Them Cajun buddies of mine, they start that in the morning and they ain't going to eat that till it gets dark. So instead of making a roux, I used some of that factory roux. This is about a tablespoon and a half mixed with some water. Going to put that in there. And we're going to get this heat up. And you're going to see this is going to all thicken up real nice. Okay, we'll come right back to it. Okay, Scott, you can see this thing thickened up real nice. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of that trail dust. Put some of that in there. Also, uh, whenever I cook that rice, I put a little bit of butter in here to finish this off. When I cook that rice, I put some of them dry herbs in there and some butter and some trail dust on top of that. Then we're going to put this turtle and shrimp. I'm going to put that around on here. And I tell you what, they don't hardly cook turtle anywhere anymore at any of them restaurants. So if it's legal in your state, then you go ahead and get you some because they ain't hard to clean. If you got any questions, you can go to that gutpal.net. There's a link on there to send me an email. I'll tell you how to do it. I even clean them with an electric knife sometimes. Went through a lot of turtles in my days. All right, Scott. I wish we could save you some of this, but it ain't going to last till this evening. We'll talk to you all later about it.